Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 5.1, Division Patterns with Decimals. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to find patterns in quotients when dividing by powers of 10. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, let's begin this lesson by reading the Unlock the Problem. It says, a healthy wheat bakery uses 560 pounds of flour to make 1,000 loaves of bread. Each loaf of bread contains the same amount of flour. How many pounds of flour are used in each loaf of bread? You can use powers of 10 to help you find quotients. Dividing by a power of 10 is the same as multiplying by 1 tenth, 1 one hundredth, or 1 one thousandth. Let's begin by reading the blue box and underlining some important information. It says, underline the sentence that tells you what we're trying to find. Remember that we usually find that at the end of a word problem. So at the last sentence here, it says, how many pounds of flour are used in each loaf of bread? The blue box also tells us to circle the numbers that we need to use. Well, we know that they use 560 pounds of flour to make a thousand loaves of bread. So that means that we're going to be dividing 560 by 1,000. And the first way we're going to do this is by using place value patterns. This looks similar to what we did with multiplying by decimals in the unit before this. So if we start here, 560 times 1 is 560. Nothing changes. Now, if you look over here on the side with division, 560 divided by 1 is 560. Nothing changed. Now we're going to continue down the line. I have 560 times 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, 1 tenth, is less than 1. So my number is going to get smaller, so my decimal moves to the left. Now if you look across the way over here, you'll see that 560 divided by 10 also uses that same movement of the decimal to the left to show that the number is getting smaller. So we could multiply by 1 tenth or divide by 10. Continuing down, I have 560 divided by 1 one hundredth. That has two zeros, so you can see we moved over two places. And across over here, 560 divided by 100 moves two zeros, or two places. So we get 5.60. 560 times 1 one thousandths has three zeros, so I move 1, 2, 3 places. And 560 divided by 1,000 moves 1, 2, 3 places. So if we are going to divide... 560 by a thousand, we're looking for this number right here. So it takes 0 0.560 pounds of flour to make each loaf of bread. Number one says as you divide by increasing powers of 10, so remember we're dividing, how does the position of the decimal change? Well, if we're dividing, then our numbers are going to get smaller, so our decimal is going to move to the left. So when we divide, the decimal goes to the left. Let's continue on with the another way. In the another way problem, we're going to use exponents. Again, this is similar to what we did in the previous unit. 
So we need to remember that when we have exponents, that exponents are, as it says over here, that if we have the zero power of 10, then it is a one with zero zeros. So 560 divided by 10 to the power of zero is 560 divided by one. And anything divided by one doesn't change. So we get 560 back out. Now we're gonna multiply, or sorry, divide, 560 divided by 10 to the power of one. 10 to the power of one means that it has one zero. So that is the number 10. If we're dividing by 10, our number is going to get smaller and our decimal is going to move to the left one place value. So now instead of 560, I have 56.0. Next, we have 560 divided by 10 to the power of 2. 10 to the power of 2 is 10 times 10, which is 100. 100 has two zeros, so we're going to move to the left two places. 1, 2. And our last one here, 560 divided by 10 to the power of 3. That means 1,000 because it's 10 times 10 times 10. means that we're going to move our decimal three places to the right. So if we had 560, our decimal is going to go 1, 2, 3, and our answer is going to be 0, 0.560. Question number two says each divisor or power of 10 is 10 times the divisor before it. So how do the quotients compare? And when they say, how do they compare? We mean, are they getting bigger? Are they getting smaller? So if we look, we went from 560 to 56 to 5.6 to 0 0.560. So each quotient is getting smaller by one tenth. One last example, fifth graders. This one says, Lang used 25.5 pounds of tomatoes to make a large batch of salsa. He used one-tenth as many pounds of onions as he did tomatoes. He used one one-hundredth as many green peppers as pounds of tomatoes. How many pounds of each ingredient did he use? So in this little table, we have the onions on one side, and the green peppers on the other. And both of them are being compared to the tomatoes. So if you look, tomatoes is 25.5, and we have 25.5 divided by something. So if we look back up here, it says he used one-tenth as many pounds of onions. So if we're going to do one-tenth of, we're going to divide by 10. So first, let's multiply 25.5 divided by 1. Well, we know any time we divide by 1, nothing changes. So our answer is 25.5. Now when we divide by 10, our number is going to get smaller by one place value of 0. So it was right here in the decimal. Now we're going to move 1 to the left. So now we're going to have 2.55. Two point five five pounds of onions. So we can start filling in the blank. Laying used twenty five point five pounds of tomatoes, two point five five pounds of onions, and now we need to figure out the green peppers. The green pepper says he used one one hundredth as many pounds of the green peppers. So that means we're going to divide by a hundred. So let's use our patterns to figure that out. We're going to divide 25.5, starting off with by 1. Okay, nothing changes. 25.5. Now we're going to keep 
0.5, but now we're going to divide by 10. And when we divide by 10, our decimal is going to move one place to the left. So now we're going to have 2.55, just like we had over here when we divided by 10. Now we're going to divide by 100. So I had 2.5, sorry, 25.5. And I'm going to divide by 100. 100 has two zeros, so I'm going to go one, two decimal places. So I have 0 0.255. So he had 0 0.255 pounds of green peppers. All right, fifth graders, now it's your turn for the lesson activity. The lesson activity is the try this section from your math pages. You do not need to write this in your math notebook. You just need to fill them out on the pages. On part A, we are dividing by 1, 10, and 100. And remember that when we divide, our decimals are going to move to the left. So anything divided by 1 it stays the same. So I have 32. Point six. Now this one, my decimal is going to move one place to the right because I have one zero. So now I'm going to have 3.26. You continue this pattern on. Then in example B, you have exponents. Remember that 10 to the power of 0 is the same as 1. 10 to the power of 1 is the same as 10. And 10 to the power of 2 is the same as 100. And again, your decimal is going to move to the left because you're getting smaller. I'll ask you for these lessons when we meet together at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.